The man himself, Ed Sheeran, is slated to be a guest star on Game of Thrones season seven. Oh yeah, and his new album, Divide, is exploding on the charts. You'll never guess why Ed Sheeran is on season seven, but that's why I'm here, so I can tell ya. So let's lay down some facts. David Binoff and D.B. Weiss, the showrunners of Game of Thrones, announced the exciting news of Ed Sheeran's appearance in the series at South by Southwest, which I'm sure you know is a very popular film, television, slash media festival held every year in Austin, Texas. But here's the good news. The showrunners apparently have been trying to get Ed Sheeran to be in Game of Thrones because of Maisie Williams. Who knew little Arya Stark was such a big fan of Ed? No one knows who Ed will play. It could be anything from a white walker to a soldier or maybe even a dragon, who knows? It's honestly hard to know with Game of Thrones because this isn't their first time putting musicians in the show. They actually have quite a history of it. Cameos have included members from Coldplay, Mastodon, Of Monsters and Men, and Sigur Ross. So we are beyond excited to hear this news. And we got even more excited when Ed himself tweeted about it. He shared a Vanity Fair link with the caption, guess the cat's out of the bag. This is proving to be a fantastic 2017 for Ed Sheeran because not only is he guest starring on, you know, one of the world's most popular shows of all time, but he is also reaching whole new megastar levels in his music career. That's right, his new album, Divide, is actually doing the opposite. It's uniting everyone's love for this redheaded, super talented superstar. Songs from his new album are holding nine out of 10 spots on the top 10 charts right now. Those numbers are truly stunning and they back up a lot of confident talk. Earlier this year, Ed went on about how he wants to beat Adele with album sales. He hasn't quite achieved that yet, but he still has some time. She is the only other present day artist who has sold more albums than him, so competition is looking tough. Oh, and by the way, all of his songs from Divide are in the top 20. That is insanely impressive. Good for you, Ed. So now it's time for me to shut up and for you guys to carry on the conversation. What character do you think Ed will play in Game of Thrones? I'm hoping for a dragon. Do you think he will beat Adele this year with album sales? Let me know in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to Clever News for more. If you guys haven't had enough of Clever yet, click right over here to check out Best Moments from the Kids' Choice Awards. I'm your host, Tom Plumley. You guys can find me on the socials and I'll see you next time.